Hey there, I'm doing a follow-up after the going to the training session for Vector Marketing Day 1. Um, what I thought about it was uh, I felt like it was very pushy towards the end. However, in the beginning it was very relaxed and easy going. Um, I think I'm starting to understand how it works completely now. The manager, first off he gets there, he's actually like, he's uh, just out of college I think. And um, he said that last, apparently, he worked for three months, and we got pushed up to assistant manager, and then from there, turned to branch manager, and after a few months of training, he had his own, um, he started his own firm, like where I'm at. So, he said that technically, or literally, I can, we can all own our own branch of Vector Marketing uh, within a year. And so that tells you that what, you know, probably like out of all the people who apply or maybe like one or two are actually uh, going to actually get successful at it. And I think his progress would be based on ours. So he gets 50% of all the um, total gross or proceeds, proceeds or profit. So pretty much he wants us to sell. Like when he was there, SS, he, well, he told us that he told us what he wanted us to do like he knew that he said well you gotta understand I need to make money too and he's making money off of us so he wants us to like sell thousands he wants us to sell thousands of dollars worth of uh, knives um, although in the beginning we like probably you make barely any like a barely no percentage of all the, the profit and towards the end if we like are able to sell enough uh, then we get more and more money and uh, the problem that I ran into, I figured everything would be fine for me. Um, during all the, we had to read the the manual back and forth and under, make sure we understood it and all that kind of stuff. And back and forth, I did that for a while. Uh, he said I was very very good at very good at I guess doing this. Thought I was a good at speaker speaking at this. Very sharp, he said. Uh, a lot of the people there actually, it wasn't really like a technical job though, like. I do feel like they, um, everyone gets in, is what I'm saying here. So I was a little disappointed about that because after seeing the people who were there and you know where they, what they were all doing, like as a profession or what they're doing right now, a lot of them were just you know they weren't really doing much like that required anything technical, so they were able to get the job here, and um. For the most part, I feel like I could do this if only I knew more people and I was willing to uh, sacrifice their privacy. Because uh, at the end of the first day, they asked you to like fill a fill a booklet with a bunch of numbers of people people's contacts and numbers and we we'll make a contest out of it. So you said, oh, contest out about it. We're gonna have um, whoever gets to the highest number gets to sit in the exec chair next time tomorrow. And so people were like. 100, 100 contacts, he'd say, yeah, who got 100, who got 100, who got 70, you got 70, oh, nice, how many you got over there, <clears throat> but he noticed me, like, he, he noticed that I did, I don't know why, he didn't notice anyone else, but for me, he knew that I knew I didn't have that many contacts, and I looked around, like, I was like, uh, I don't know what to write in this booklet here, I don't want to give out people's privacy or information like that, and he was like, hey, you know, you can use a cell phone and everything, and I was like, ah, yeah, I can do that, but, um, at the moment, I, you know, I'm still going to turn it aside if I, I'm not sure if I want to do this with people who I didn't know that well. And I only put down about six or seven because I was out of, he wanted a hundred, so, and so I told him at the end, I was like, you know, I feel like I'm not going to be able to make any, make any sales because I'm going to bottom out in the first week or something like that. So don't get discouraged. You're going to, you know, you're going to do just fine, you know, just don't give up and everything. And, uh... So, I might not be going back tomorrow. I wanted to go to the first three days to try to get um, something to put in my resume that, you know, like a contact or a reference that I can try to use for future, for the future. But I do feel like, I don't know, the number thing was too pushy. Like, he wanted, he wants people to sell. I figured if he gets about $10,000 of products sold per person, that's 5,000 per person, and there are about 20 people there. 
So five times twenty, you do the math. Um, I mean five thousand times twenty, that would be like what one hundred thousand. That's what his goal is. I'm not gonna stick around that long, probably. I mean, if anything, I'd probably stay to the first day, and then quit. But I don't know if I can go to training six hours of just sitting there, do this kind of stuff. And I thank that one person. Um, I gotta look at the name, who did give me advice about it. I like. I appreciate that. That actually helped me this decide. Uh, N J N J O F I N N J O F I N. Thanks for that. But this was my review on the first day of training. I'm not sure if anyone's is the same. Um, but thank you. And yep, hope you enjoyed my thoughts on it. Bye.